Hey, how you doing? Christopher C. Mosley here. And today I have a special treat for you as always. I sold my Phantom 3 standard and went and grabbed the Mavic Air, man. And I wish I could have got the Fly More package, but just not in the budget right now. So I got the Mavic Air base package, man. It's running about $7.99 now, but there are rumors that a new drone is coming out soon. Who knows? I don't know. We know technology is always advancing, but Right now, this is the newest product product from DJI. 4K, 100 megabytes per second, 12 megapixel pictures. I mean, like, what more can you ask for? Let's get right into the unboxing, man. So right off the bat, let me tell you up front, I like the weight of the box. Like, even before I open it or anything, it's kind of hefty. Now, you know, it's, it's known for being a small, I know this is overkill, but that's the only knife I had in the house. So, yeah, it's kind of hefty. And it's known for being a smaller drone. So that's surprising that it's kind of hefty like that. Let's see. Very nice, smooth packaging from DJI. Since I got my first drone from DJI, I always like their packaging. Like, for some reason, it's just very nice. Um, as you can see, I went with the Onyx Black version of this. I just felt like black is a little harder to get dirty. So when you open it up, there's a pouch. I'm guessing this is the drone itself. Let's see. This pouch is so smooth, man. Like the packaging. Oh my God, man. Like look at the size of this. Like I cannot even, look at my hand. Look at this. Look at this, man. Look at the size. That's crazy. That is crazy, man. Look at the size. This can go in my camera bag and I can get 4K videos on a drone at any time. Look at the form factor. We'll get into that later on, man. We'll get into that later on. Let's move that to the side. What else is in this box? So as you can see, there's a little item. And I wanna say slides up. I'm right, it slides up. Another black box. Let's open it up. Oh man, I got the base package. Listen, I got the base package and I got propeller guards. That's crazy. I didn't get the fly more package now. Extra propellers. Of course, all of your manuals and registration. Previously, I said don't read these and crack jokes about this. Read your manuals and understand your product, people. Um, what else? DJI support card. I don't know how their customer service is. I've never had to reach out to them, but products are amazing. The controller. Nice, man. Coming from the Phantom 3 standard. I mean, that's just beautiful, man. That is beautiful. Look at the size of that, man. Look at the size of that. We got another small black box. Looks like some type of charger. Yes, this is a charger. My dog is making some noise over there. Please be quiet, bro. All right, we got a connector. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what that is. That's some type of USB-C connector. And this is for the charger to be plugged into the wall, the other piece to the charger, the outlet. And this is a lot of stuff for the basic little small package, man. This is a USB to USB-C cord. I got a lot to learn about this product, being honest with you. This is another level of technology for me, especially for drones, but I mean, look at this. This is crazy, look at the size. Okay, people, now that we got the actual product out of the box, let's talk a little bit. Now, why did I sell my Phantom 3 standard and pick up a DJI Mavic Air? Why would I do that? Number one reason was portability. Now, let's talk for a minute. Having a drone, you know, it's cool, it's nice, but if, you're, if it's so big and it's so inconvenient to pull out and so flashy that it draws so much attention that it kills the shot, What's the point of having the drone? Like I had my drone for, I want to say almost two years now, but the Phantom 3 standard is so big. Don't get me wrong, amazing quality, good battery life. Um, while we're on that topic, this one gets 21 minutes. The um, standard, I want to say, gets 27 minutes, you know, approximately, but it depends on the conditions, of course. But um, that's powerful. The portability of this product is powerful, like being able to fit this drone in your book bag. I went to Maryland recently, go check that vlog out. I took my Phantom 3 standard, had to check a whole nother bag, man. That adds up when you travel a lot. 
So keep that in mind. Portability and the form factor of this is so important and you still get 4K quality, 100 megabytes per second. Okay, the second reason I got this product was the quality. 4K, 100 megabytes per second, 1080 at 120 frames per second, 12 megapixel photos. I mean, you can't beat the quality of this at this size. And also my Phantom 3 standard was getting a little bit old. I was using an older app, the DJI Go app. It's kind of glitchy. So there was another reason I wanted to make sure I kept my production level up and didn't have to keep setting it up or fooling with the app. I need to be able to actually fly my drone and get the footage. That's the purpose of having the drone. Now let's talk specs, people. Excuse the notebook, but I got tired of trying to memorize this stuff. Let's just talk. You know, let's get comfortable here. I don't have to try to memorize this stuff. Let's just talk. Let's, let's just talk straight up. 4K, 100 megabytes per second. 1080, 120 frames per second. HDR photos. 8 gigabytes of internal storage. <laughs> That's powerful. That's powerful. That is powerful. 12 megapixel steals. 21 minute flight time. Overall... I'm going to try to take this drone out and fly it a little bit and, and try to get the feel for it. I'm a little nervous because, I mean, I've been flying with the Phantom 3 standard for a while. I know it'll probably be the same, but, you know, it's just, it's new territory for me. So, I'm, I'm just trying to be cautious about it. I, I definitely don't want to crash it. But I'm going to take this drone out and try to get the first flight in today, possibly show you guys the footage. But just right now, what I can say straight out of the box, I mean, the size of this thing is amazing. It just feels so sleek. It's just so portable. It's just so versatile to be able to take the drone into new places like that and be able to get it in the air quickly. I mean, that's powerful, man. I can't stress that enough. I mean, people, you got to understand, if you don't have a drone, you're probably excited about having a drone, but then eventually that hype will wear off and it'll come to a point where it's like your drone is actually like an inconvenience. Like sometimes my clients will say, I want to have drone shots, and I'm like, I really don't feel like fooling with it. Like, it's not fun anymore. Like, I needed something new. I needed something agile. I needed something small, something that I can pull out quick and get those shots when I'm doing a family vlog. When I'm doing a family vlog, it's so hard to set up the Phantom 3 standard and it's so big and another bag and so bulky that I don't even feel like getting a shot anymore. It's just not fun, man. So just keep that in mind when you're purchasing drones. If you got to save up, save up, but figure out which one is right for you. Now, if you have that kind of time and you're shooting short films and stuff like that and narratives where you can sit and joggle with the remote for three or four minutes before you get, hey, get the Phantom 4, you know, get the Phantom 3 standard, you know, get something that's bigger if you have that time. I don't have it. I'm running on music videos, weddings. With a wedding, you'll miss the shot. It's too late. If you miss it, those people will be upset. If you're trying to toggle with the remote, Get something that fits your lifestyle. That's all I'm saying. Now, let's take a look at this. All I did was pop these open so far, but. Looks like the joysticks are stored here. You have your power button. Looks like a function button, sport mode, a landing button. Pause button. It's like a USB port. Here's something where you can plug up your iPhone. Wow. I mean, this is nice, people. They're very small, but it has like a very, like an expensive feel to it. It's like a nice gaming joystick, actually. It's, it's very comfortable in your hand. Uh, let's check the actual drone out. My first time handling this. Remove the gimbal clamps. Let's see. There's our camera. I've heard a lot of people say that the camera is well protected. I understand now. That is nice. Let's keep that clamp on there. I have wrecked a few, a few drones before, so we're going to be very careful with that gimbal, but Let's see if I can get set up here. I don't think I've seen any other unboxings or reviews where they've addressed this, but I want to put emphasis on how much instructions they give you on actually how to work this because, you know, this is my first time facing it. This is a new drone. Like, I'm learning as I go right now. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I know everything. Look at this. It's giving you instructions on how to unfold. Unfold the rear. So it's indicating that this is the rear. It twists up and out like that. 
I'm trying to do my best to keep it in focus and show you guys. And then the front, it says unfold the front. So I'm guessing you push it forward. See, just excellent instructions that just make the experience better, especially if this was like your first drone. You know, some person may, this may be their first drone. It's got instructions here on how to power on and off and how to remove the battery. I'm definitely going to get this battery charged up. Um, other than that, it has some legs right here. They look like some type of landing gear. I may end up buying something a little bit more sturdy than that. I don't know how that'll do. Sometimes I fly out of deep grass. But um, people, this is amazing. I mean, this is beautiful. The quality that you get out of this kind of size. I did not expect it to be this small. I hate to say. But um, DJI, keep up the good work. I just want to thank DJI for coming up with this product and being so innovative and, and just coming up with new ideas and thinking of the customer like DJI, I really appreciate you and, and you have my business, you have my service DJI. I haven't had to um, you know, talk with anyone in customer service yet, but I'm sure that customer service is awesome as well, man. But hey, DJI, thank you.